Hi, this is Jesse Liberty from Telerik. Today we're going to take a look at Rad Tree List View. Rad Tree List View gives you a very powerful look at hierarchical data, especially when combined with Rad Grid View. To get started, let's create a new project. We're going to call that project Rad Tree List View Getting Started. We'll click OK and we'll click OK for Silverlight 5. We'll come to the Teller Configuration Wizard, and here we're going to add the data and the controls dependency reference, as well as a link for Grid View, because we're going to be combining those two controls. As soon as Visual Studio settles down, we're going to come over to the XAML and add our Rad Tree List View control. Let's give that a name so we can refer to that programmatically. Our next task is to add a class so that we have some data to work with. Let's call that class warehouse item. We're going to give the warehouse item some public properties. The first property is going to be the name. The second property will be an integer property that will be the count. And the third property is interesting. It'll be an observable collection of warehouse item objects. So let's add the necessary using statement and we're going to call that third property items. Now all we need is a constructor and in the constructor we're going to initialize the name property and the count property and then we will go ahead and initialize our observable collection of warehouse item objects so that we can use that collection from within this warehouse item, creating the hierarchy that we want. Let's add a second class called Warehouse Service. Warehouse Service is going to be a utility class that's going to allow us to create a number of warehouse item objects. It consists of a static method called GetWarehouseData, and that's going to return our hierarchical data. This will simulate data that we might have gotten from a database or from a web service or other source. Going into the code behind, we are ready to set the tree list view item source property, and we're going to set that to the static method get warehouse data on the warehouse service itself. Let's run the application, and at this point, you'll see that while we have the top level of data, we do not have any of the details underneath. We don't see the types of drinks, for example, that constitute the drinks collection, and the items collection is just using the default to string. So we have a little bit of cleaning up to do here. Let's return to mainpage.xaml. Inside the tree list view, we are going to create child table definitions. The type of child table that we want is a tree list view table definition. And we're going to set its item source to bind to the items property. Let's go back to the tree list view declaration and tell it not to automatically generate its columns. Instead, we are going to manually generate the columns that we want in the rad tree list view. To do that, we declare the rad tree list view columns section. And in that, we're going to declare grid view data columns. The first one that we're going to declare is going to have a data member binding to the name property of our warehouse object. We'll also give it a header and we'll have it say name as the header. We can use anything that we like as a descriptive header on this column. Let's copy and paste that column so that we have two of them and change the second one from binding on name to binding on count and we'll change the header as well. Now let's run the application. You can see we have only the two columns we wanted and we now have the hierarchical relationship. Under drinks, we have water, tea, and coffee. Under tea, we have black tea and green tea. And you can see that the values sum up so that the roll up is of all of the sub values. I hope you've seen how easy it is to add hierarchical data to your application. 
For Telerik, this is Jesse Liberty. Thank you very much, and I look forward to speaking with you again very soon.